Hi, my name is Sophie Messager. I'm a doula healer um, based in Cambridge, UK, and I'm also the author of the book Why Postnatal Recovery Matters. And in this video, I want to show you how to wrap your hips. Uh, this is something I've um, done tutorials and videos and blog posts and articles about in the past, but I tended to like focus them almost entirely on pregnancy. And I want to expand this today. I want to explain to you that it's something that's useful to do um, when you're pregnant. It's something that's useful to do postpartum, but it's also something to do at any other time in your life. In fact, I have come to uh, see hip wrapping as something that benefits anyone who has a pelvis. So what can it help for? So in, in the context of pregnancy, it can be really helpful if there's any pelvic pain or discomfort to be wrapped. Your, your hips can often provide uh, relief of these symptoms. They don't they don't fix what's causing the problem. You want to see an osteopath or a chiro chiropractor for that, but the wrapping can provide enormous source of comfort. And the same apply for the postpartum when you are very loose and open and it helps provide support and comfort to the pelvis. But what I found out for myself is that when I use wrapping, I use wrapping in lots of other contexts in my life, I find it very, very helpful to use during my period. I find it very helpful to use when I feel the need for containment or warmth. So what it does on, on some physical level is it simply provide a scaffolding around your pelvis that gives your muscles and ligaments a chance to relax. But it also does provide some kind of sense of feeling of containment on a physical level. It also provides warmth and um, on sort of some spiritual level, it's emotional and spiritual level it's a very primal um, sensation to have your pelvis wrapped and what it does is it brings you back into your body it brings you back into yourself and so in that respect it has really powerful effects in terms of well-being and calm and getting you out of a stress which i think we could all do with at the moment so um I want to show you what I use. That there's lots of different things you can use. I'm going to use a rebozo scarf, which I've folded in half and then folded in half again to make a nice narrow band to just wrap around my hips. You can use anything, um, pashmina belt, uh, woven belt, anything you have, as long as it's long enough. So here, I'm going to be using a scarf that's two and a half meter long because the technique I want to show you involves double wrapping. So what you, all you need to do, as I said, is wrap, um, fold the, the rebozo in half and in half again. And what you do then is you place it just below your hip bone. So my hip, the top of my hip bone is here. So just below your hip bone. And then you cross it at the back. And then once you've crossed it, you bring the edges forward again. And what you do is you pull your arms out to tighten at whichever level feels comfortable for you. And then once you've done that, you just make a knot at the front. And that's it. What you've got is a nice, snug, comfortable pelvic belt. Something that's going to make you feel supported and warm and centred. And I'd be really interested to hear how you find it if you've never tried it before. So if you want to find out more, I have uh, on my website, sophiemissagy.com, I have a lot of um, articles, a lot of blogs, a lot of links to tutorials. I've got an even entire online course to show you how to use a rebozo. And I've also got a shop in which I sell rebozo scarf, um, authentic rebozo scarf, ethically produced in Mexico and Guatemala. Thank you very much.